On today's Muscle Car of the Week, we're checking out a very rare, very cool 426 Hemi 4-speed 1970 Dodge Challenger RT in plum crazy purple. They only made 137 of these cars. This week's Muscle Car of the Week is a treat for the Mopar fanatics, a 1970 Dodge Challenger RT with a 426 Hemi and a pistol grip four-speed. One of the most fun cars you could possibly have bought in 1970. There's a lot of neat features on the Challenger RT, and what I think is so cool is this car kind of exemplifies what a muscle car is all about. It starts off with a, you know, kind of a lightweight, basic two-door coupe, and they just added things to it to make it cooler and cooler. I mean, things you don't need, but they really make the car kick ass. The base Challenger model came with a 225 slant six, uh, kind of a general economy engine, but Dodge engineers thought it'd be a lot more fun to beef this thing up, and they came out with the RT version, which stands for road and track, and the one you're looking at has a 426 Hemi. So the heart of the beast is the 426 cubic inch Hemi V8. And this thing, I mean, they call them elephant motors for a reason. Look at how big this thing is. It barely fits between the shock towers on this car. Now the base Challenger RT engine was a 383. It was still a really strong performer. But when you're looking at 425 horsepower and 490 foot-pounds of torque in that Hemi, you've got something that's gonna make some serious tire smoke. Rated at 425 horsepower and 490 foot-pounds of torque, but we all know that that's not the truth. This thing puts out way more than that, and they always did. Plus the fact that they made power at every RPM range, enough to annihilate the tires whenever you stepped on the gas. Uh, 10 and a quarter to one compression. I mean, these things, they're monsters. And it's backed up by the new process uh, four-speed transmission with the pistol grip shifter. And there's nothing more satisfying than just grabbing this thing and ripping through the gears, especially when you got Hemi power to burn the tires. I mean, who wouldn't have a fun time in this car? It's ridiculous. Now the pistol grip, not only does it feel good, you know, but the, the Dodge guys were all about the gun references, you know, back in the day. You had a, a pistol grip shifter, you had a Magnum engine, you know, it was all about power. And it's funny to think, if they tried to have a pistol grip shifter today, you know, people would be riding in the streets. So it really shows what a different time period this car came with. Uh, other cool things are the color. I mean, it's plum crazy purple, which was one of Dodge's most famous colors, and a color they actually brought back, you know, for the current generation of Challenger, you know, many years later. So uh, a bunch of things on this car are certainly not needed, which is kind of the essence of a muscle car. You don't need a 426 Hemi, you don't need the pistol grip shifter, you don't need a 410 rear gear. Uh, but it sure is fun. This is a 20,000 mile car, and it's got a great restoration on it, so everything feels new. This car was restored by Ken Mosier of the Finer Details, and he's a widely known Mopar restoration guru, and he's known about this car for many, many years and, and tried to obtain it from the previous owner. And he finally wore the guy down and was able to buy the car, bring it to his shop, and start the complete restoration on it. And believe it or not, uh, apparently the original owner didn't like the plum crazy purple and had the car resprayed black many many years ago so Ken of course did everything he could to restore this back to its original correct appearance uh, the engine was rebuilt back to stock the interior was restored apparently the only thing that's different on this car from the way it came from the factory are the uh, previous owner wouldn't let go of the carburetors so he had to replace it with some some different but correct Carter AFB dual quad carburetors. So overall, you've got a super, super clean car that has won numerous awards. And in fact, it won the Good Guys uh, Hemmings Muscle Machines Muscle Car of the Year Award in 2010 and was featured in Hemmings Muscle Machines magazine. So Ken was able to show this car to the original owner who said, you know, it looks way better now than it ever did new. One of the reasons you don't see Hemi Dodge Challenger RTs at your local car show every weekend is because they didn't make very many of them. They made about 150 automatics, 137 manual transmission versions of this car. So they are quite rare. And uh, it's kind of funny to think how much these cars sell for at auctions today when they were only $3,500 new. 
We hope you like this episode of Muscle Car of the Week. As always, we've got more pictures of this car on our website at musclecaroftheweek.com. And check out the Facebook page for a sneak peek of next week's car. And subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss an episode of Muscle Car of the Week.